Hey everybody, just wanna say thank you to Factor for sponsoring today's video. I hosted my first ever Thanksgiving dinner this year and it made me realize how much I dislike going to the grocery store, cooking all day long, and cleaning and doing the dishes with a big meal. So I am ready to not cook a meal like that for a very long time. Enter Factor. Factor is fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved, chef prepared meals that actually taste good. They're ready in two minutes. They show up at your doorstep. You can pick each week which meals you want. I would never make something like this for myself. Have I ever cooked pork chops? No. I love that I can have nutritious meals without all the work. They've saved me in a pinch so many times. I highly recommend them. If you want to try it Factor, head to factor75.com or use the link below. Use my code popcornandbed50 for 50% off your first Factor box. That's factor75.com, code popcornandbed50 for 50% off your first Factor box. Okay, let's go watch it. Hi everyone! Hello and welcome back to Popcorn in Bed with Cassie and Carly. <laughs> Funny enough, we don't plan those things. Yeah. <laughs> what, did you go to Hairspray in your mind? No. Oh. I went to the SNL clip with Will Ferrell. Oh yeah. The cheer Spartan cheerleaders. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so today we are watching our heist poll winner. Oh, we do like a good heist. I love a good heist. Okay. Okay, so this was a poll for our YouTube members, and you can become a YouTube member here. And we had three separate polls of five each, and then we took the winner from each and put them on a final poll. But then I did this thing, which I think I accidentally skewed the results because see, I took the three winners, and then I picked the one that I voted for. <laughs> I put it on the poll and I told everybody that and then that one won. When it didn't even win so its you own feel like poll. you made it biased because you yeah. said you did that? Okay. So sure. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but accidentally swayed that. Um, but Oopsies. the reason I picked this one and voted for it is because I've been wanting to watch it for a long time. And I feel yeah. like we've watched a couple or I have Denzel movies recently, and he just is so good in everything he does. And this says Denzel. We will bless all oh, night. <laughs> they will not gain another yard. Carter, they all I must love be her. I love that movie. So good. That'll always be Denzel for me. Yeah. So that's what we're watching. Inside Man. So it's about a Ooh. heist, and I I and love Denzel. Oh. I love a heist. I love like a long con or like a mm. when, you know, like oceans. Yes. When there's planning and the a certain people with a certain set of skills are brought yes. together and then for it to we be love a good team yeah. too. <laughs> so I'm hoping that's kind of what this is. I have no clue other than that. And I think it's gonna be fun. I'm excited too. And I think we just to clue you in, I am or we are going to watch the next two winners as well, which is A Fish Called Wanda and Runners. Sneakers. Sneakers. Uh, I knew it was in Canada. In runners. Canada, we say runners, so. Let's watch a movie. Don't forget, if you want to vote on polls like this all the time and have full length reactions, mm -hmm. uh, join a movie loving community. You can sign up for Patreon here and mm -hmm. like and subscribe here. Okay. And go team. Dalton Russell. Super quiet for me. Yeah, they just. Strict attention okay. to what I say. I strict attention to. Choose my words carefully. Myself. I've told you my name. That's the who. Dalton. The where could most readily be described as a prison cell, but there's a vast difference between being stuck in a tiny cell and being in prison. The what is easy. Recently, I planned and set in motion events to execute the perfect bank robbery. That's also the when. As for the why, because I can which leaves us only with a how. And therein, as the bard would tell us, lies the rub. I think he's like sending this out to police or whatever. I feel like people like this always like, like I want you to catch me because you can't, you know? Yeah. Like, but is he in prison yeah, from not the bank actual or? or is he actually in prison or did he make his like own kind of prison? I don't know. Not a lot of questions after that speech. <laughs> Viewers at home are like, just chill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a minute. <laughs> oh, Jodie Foster. 
You don't know who that is, do you? I know the name. Silence of the Lambs. You didn't watch that. What else was she in? Oh, she's the voice of Elastigirl. Oh. I hope I didn't make that up. Willem Dafoe, Green Goblin. Okay, okay, okay. I don't think she's the voice of Elastigirl. <laughs> well, we'll find out soon enough. This is like Bollywood music. I know, I'm like, but it's in New York. I saw the, I thought I saw the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower? I'm. (laughs) Statue of Liberty? Statue of Liberty. (laughs) Two very classic things. Both tall. (laughs) So true. (laughs) Chicago. Isn't that the bull in Chicago? No, is it it's in New York? It's on Wall Street. Never mind. Chicago is the bean. Just kidding. We're good at this. It is New York. <laughs> Wall Street. Yeah. The bull. The bull bull market. Yeah. Which yeah. means sell, 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 or buy, buy, buy. Uh, both, right? <laughs> Just means it's intense. You gotta go quick. I don't know. Oh. All right, you'll be about to watch the most perfect bank robbery. Your mother tells me about uh, certain young ladies helping you with the tripod bridge project. Is that? I think so. No, I could hear the hum of his voice. Because it's been like over a year now. Yeah, I want to snap this guy's neck. I swear to God. So what? They're flowers. They could have been sweet grandmother. <laughs> okay, this is funny. Can you lower your voice just a little bit, please? You're getting a little. Loud on your phone. I didn't know I was in a library. Fucking bank. Shining a light, or is that like a special it must machine? Be like a machine. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, we got a big team. <laughs> Everybody get down on the fucking floor! Yeah! Get the hell off the fuck! My friends and I are making a very large withdrawal. If anybody gets in our way, gets a bullet in the brain. The officer has smoke coming out of him. Come on, call it in. Hospital 1030, James Place. <gasps> I have got hostages. Fucking cops come near this door, I start killing people. Ooh. Okay, this is going intense really quick. And I don't think, I don't think they're the kind of robbers that are like lying about it. Okay, oh yeah, they're gonna say they're not gonna kill someone. I'm like, no, I think they will. I didn't hear Denzel. He's right here. This 140 grand doesn't show up somewhere soon. Things can get rough. But you didn't take it. It's just some lying drug dealer trying to save his own ass by fucking me over. We gotta have this conversation every time your brother gets locked up. He's the only family I've got. 17 year old high school dropout doesn't have an honest bone in his body. How's he feel about you? Oh, he's thrilled. Detective sleeping in the next room, banging his sister. Of course, if we got. Then things would be different. And what's wrong with it? Wedding, furniture, kids. Christmas came early for you this year. Bank robbery, hostage situation, 20 exchange place. You look around, there are five armed men pointing Uzis at you. Just picture them in what's their underwear. What's he underwear. from? How about orange jumpsuits? Do you recognize him? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But Tenzel's voice is incredible. I know. Like you could pick it out anywhere. Yes. Except in the bank when I thought I did. <laughs> but there was a little guy with a child in there. Yeah, I just thought it was, I know. Uh, I just thought he was going to be a dad figure. But that makes me sad. But, um, yeah, a child yeah. going through that. Okay, they said if they started bringing cops oh, no. near the door, he was going to start killing people. I got a perp in the bank, possible hostage situation. Do you think they're tricking them? Like they're at like the wrong bank or something somehow? It couldn't be, right? We saw them. Yeah. Well, I do feel like having that cop randomly look in the window was not part of their plan. But they had to assume something like that yeah. could happen with any bank robbery, right? Okay, they're not being quiet, so they know there's cops outside now. Yeah. Oh, and the press. I'm scared they're going to kill people inside, though. I know. Sir, there's a robbery in progress at one of our branches. Has anybody been hurt? I don't think so, but there are hostages. Which branch is it? Number 32, 20 Exchange Place. Which one? 20 Exchange Place. Thank you, Catherine. I'm sorry, Mr. Case. What's he from? I don't know. I watch so many movies and it just plagues me pretty yeah. constantly. But you know something special yeah. about that bank. The hostage negotiators, right? Oh, wow. Any other garments? No, sir. I couldn't see anything at all. All right, well, look. As soon as we get this thing cleared up, we'll cut you loose, all right? If you don't mind, I'd rather hang around a while, at least until we make contact. But I like to hear, Sergeant. What? Come on. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to me? Bank employees, raise your hand! Bank employees, this side! Everyone else, over there! 
need everybody to take your cell phones and your keys and hold them in the air. What's your name? Peter. Peter Hammond. Where's your cell phone, Peter Hammond? I left it at home. Think very carefully about how you answer the next question, because if you get it wrong, your headstone will read, Here lies Peter Hammond, valiantly attempted to prevent a brilliant bank robbery by trying to hide his cellular phone, but wound up getting shot in the fucking head. I'm telling you, I did. I left, I left it at home. You believe him? Yeah. You try to call Peter Hammond for one of them? Because those are all the employees' phones, oh, they probably have their number. Oh crap. Okay. Don't worry about it. Big son got to get shot. Oh my gosh. D did he kill him? No, we just knock him out. Hey, mister. Keep it. I need all of you to strip down to your underwear. What the heck? Why? No idea. Believe me, this is the only situation where I'd ask you to do this. No. What's with you, Mr. Goyam? Make my day. Take your f***ing clothes off. No! Let's go! Now, I need all of you to put on one of these suits and these masks. Oh, they can't tell the hostages. <gasps> Captain Darius. Yeah. Detective Frazier. This is Detective Green Beacon. Goblin. <laughs> I got an unknown number of suspects and an unknown number of hostages. The way this works, Mr. Frazier, is I deal with Mr. Grossman. If you need anything, you can speak with him, okay? Detective Grossman is away on vacation, so Detective Frazier is the big dick today, all right? If you need anything, you can speak to me, all right? I guess it'll have to be. That's the way it's gonna be. Get these guys some vests. I like the confidence. Yeah. Have you ever seen Denzel in a movie not confident, though? So true. <laughs> One thing I learned from Grossman is these guys don't have much respect for what we do. For them, it's a tactical situation. Us being here means there's a mental side to it. Get up. They better let him go. I don't think they're gonna just let him go. Oh, they did. Don't move. Don't stand on your knees. Well, stand on your knees. At least now they, they know that they're dressing hoss. They set me down here. If you come near the bank, you'll throw out two dead bodies. What's his heart condition? He's yelling a lot now. Gonna be on TV. Yeah, a big star. Let's go. Come on. Do you think he had heart? I don't know. After a while, I, you know, I thought about my wife. You know, not seeing my wife again. My kids. I got a ten-year-old son. Yeah, I thought about it, man. What you think? Those are my babies. <laughs> okay. They couldn't put the suits over their clothes. Yeah. Uh, go back to Mr. Case or whatever his name was. I want to know what's different about this bank than all of his other branches. I have a Mr. Arthur Case on the phone for you. That's Jodie Foster. Mrs. Madeline White. Oh, we do right. know who that uh, is. She's, um... Have we met formally? No, sir. I don't believe we have. Uh, you're always turning up at my July 4th parties in Southampton. We, uh, know some of the same people. I have a small problem which requires someone with very special skills. Can I pick you up in front of your office building in five minutes? I'll be downstairs. Oh man, I feel like this is one where we're not gonna yeah. get a lot of answers along the way. I know. Throwing us out of whack and depriving us of, of any kind of hey. way of controlling ourselves. That's the guy. That's Peter? Yeah. All I know is that they called each other a variation of Steve. Steven, Steve-O, Steve. So this is post. We're getting... Yeah. Look at me and tell me the truth. They had AK-47s out. Four of them. You know a lot about guns. You ever rob a bank before? Me rob a bank? No. Are they interviewing all the hostages because they don't know who? Because there was an inside man? Or they all walked out together? I don't know. The hostage they let go was Herman Gluck, 73. They told him to say that if any cops came near the door, they'd throw out two dead bodies. It says they came in dressed as painters. We got the block locked up. I got men in the windows. That's my end of it, detective. Yeah, I'm not calling him yet. Thank you, pardon. Doesn't feel right yet, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna call him and ask what I can do for him. Let's see what he does. Your call. Call who? Like, call inside the bank. Like, to start uh, negotiations, I think. Why don't you let me explain to you how I work? Well, you say 
that there are family heirlooms inside your safety deposit. But in my experience, people like you have people working for them. And when they can't, well, they don't call me. So immediately I know there's something in that box that you don't even want your closest aides to know about. What's inside that box belonged to me since before you were born and poses no danger whatsoever to anyone. The contents of that box are of great value to me, so long as they remain my secret. And if they're exposed? I'll face some difficult questions. I feel like it's like evidence or something. Yeah. What in the world? That hostage they let out said these guys came in dressed like painters, right? Probably stolen. Everybody on? Mm, okay, I like some negotiations. Okay, nothing yet. We got video. What's happening? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, there it is, that guy right there. It's like he blinds the camera with the flashlight. Could be infrared. See, humans can't see it, but a video camera will pick it up. So for approximately two minutes, we got no evidence of people leaving or entering the bank. Can you tell us what happened after the explosions and the smoke? I just remember one of them telling the others to just go down and fix the cameras. You OK? <laughs> it made us take off our clothes. I don't understand why they had to do that. I thought I was going to be killed. There's moving at the front door. Let's go. Don't move! Don't move! Hey, Seuss, oh. pat him down. All right. Who oh, are you? Sick Romali, I work in the bank. Okay, is this a bomb? Oh, shit, a fucking arrow. I'm a sick. I mean, is this no. a bomb? Are you no. booby trapped? No, fuck no. Just watch, there's a lot of movement in that bank. Right now, get up. Get up. Get Get my turban back. Come on, shut up. Relax. Oh. What the fuck do you want? A favor. Which kind? The last one I'll ever ask of you. You know about this hostage situation. All right, well, I need to keep an eye on it. So I want you to bring me down there and tell whoever's in charge to extend me every courtesy. How is she so powerful? Yeah, seriously. How'd she get this reputation? First you beat me and now you want my help. You need to start thinking about your coworkers. What do you want to know? How many were there? I think there were about four. Two buses with full gas tanks, one jumbo jet with full gas tank, a JFK parked in the runway. They give us till 9 p.m. to do this, then they kill one hostage every hour. Bank is secured with Semtex. Oh my god. Uh, uh, Sharon Border Treasure. Mr. Case, how are you? I'm Detective Frazier. I just wondered if I might be of some assistance. They want a jet. Would you like me to arrange one for you? <laughs> Mr. Right Case, now. you're going to have to excuse us for now. Absolutely. This way, Thank you very much. What do you think? You think it's going to be it's like some sort of personal attack with him? Or is he just being paranoid that it just so happens that his Oh, I think it's something boxes. with him. I know I want more clues so I can start trying to figure things out. 50 hungry people need food now. Okay, but they know that there's only four robberies. And like three of them just came out there, so they couldn't do something. Right. There would be like one left inside, but the one might kill hostages. What's this? It's a digital recorder. James Bond. You can get them on Amazon. <laughs> I have no Please idea why up. they made us put on all of this crap. So when the Please cops break in to try to rescue Please us, we all up. get oh f***ing shot. No thanks. <laughs> Take your guns. I hear him, are you? Steve. I'm sorry. I didn't say anything. How much are they going to pay you? I'm sorry. Were you involved in this robbery? Absolutely not. Were you involved in this situation? What, what situation? Don't lie. Oh, oh gosh. You know what this means? This means that they, they never don't... got caught. Yeah, yeah, they don't know. Well, that's what I mean. Like, did they all walk out at the same time or something? Like, did Mr. Case give him a jet? Put that gun down. All right, everybody down. relax. Calm down. down. Doing. I hope the pizzas are okay. They might be a little cold. Pick up the phone anytime you want. It's a direct line to me. That is so crazy. These bank robbers are just like straight up, like I mean, obviously through signs and hostages, but they're like communicating with all the police outside, and they're yeah. just still in there doing. Their it's thing. funny. I literally just watched another bank robbery movie last night, and so I, and the whole time I was like, they hold a lot of power when you have hostages. Yeah. <laughs> Some Russians. See if they can get a Russian translator over here. Yeah, get some fucking body bags. My guy's got to shoot it out with those okay, fucking okay, savages. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, they have blindfolds on. That's horrible. Yeah. Come on, sweetheart. Let's go. Let's go. What? Stop crying. Get in there. Sit what did what did they do? 
she just is pretending to be one of the girls. Come on, Boos. Let's go. <laughs> you are just <laughs> fuck up. Sit down. Sit down. I'm confused. So they just put one of their people in there just pretending to be a hostage and then moved that girl around. Oh. This guy took off his mask and was talking like he wasn't afraid. So they come in, pull him out of the room and smack him around a little. Recognize anyone else from that room? I was talking to my girlfriend on the phone. This guy, asshole. Got some real planning going on here. Yeah. What the f this ain't Russian, no? What the hell is it? Bulgarian, maybe. It's Central European. Does anybody know what language they're speaking? Anybody? You know what language they're speaking? Yeah, they're speaking Albanian. Well, am I getting arrested? Nah, for you're not getting arrested. Come on, come on. What are they saying? I have no idea what they're saying. You got no idea? I thought you no. said you spoke Albanian. I never said I speak Albanian. Said... My ex-wife and her parents are Albanian. I have no idea what they're saying, but I'll tell you right now, the language is 100% Albanian. Call the Albanian consulate, uh, see if they can get somebody over here to translate this for you. You hang out in the back for me, okay? Man, not again. Not again. Not again. <laughs> Helping out the cops all the time. <laughs> Dang it. The kid in the vault? Was in the, are they in the supply closet too? Did they separate him from his dad? How does this game work? Sell and crack. You lose points if someone jacks your rod or shoots you. That's a terrible game. Yeah. You're gone, baby. You're dead. Oh my gosh. That can't be real. Like my man Fiddy said, get rich, die trying. Yo, you get mad points for knocking over the bank. I think that's cool. You trying to get paid too? What the? Finish your slice. I'll take you back to your father. I gotta talk to him about this game. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so get parenting tips from a guy robbing the bank. It's gonna be okay. This guy kind of a voice like Nicolas Cage. It, yeah, I a little bit. That. Uh, I tried the State Department. That takes a month. Okay, call him. Are you crazy? I hate that. <gasps> He's kind of like. If Jake Gyllenhaal and Nicolas Cage became a person, it would look like him. Yep. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thinking about it since the beginning. Oh, how you doing? Hello. How you doing? What's this? Parking tickets. You can fix them? You know, see what I can do. Listen to this and tell us what they're saying. Oh, you can't smoke in here. Go ahead. <laughs> well, you know what they're talking about? I know what they're talking about. I even know who it is. Who, who is it? It's Enver Hoxha. He was the president of Albania. And where Hoja's dead. There's a tape of him discussing how Albanian people are great people. It's a tape. Okay, well, officer, you can take her home. And do me a favor. Uh, watch where you park next time, okay? <laughs> they knew we were gonna bug him. Oh, with the pee in the pee the pizza box. Security deposit boxes. Have we seen her before, though? In this movie? Yeah. She Wasn't she digging the hole? Yes, I think so. Show us. Mr. They're Case. Not, they're not gonna show us. Arthur Case. I think it's who put him away in prison to prison or something. Those look valuable. Yeah. They don't care. Nope. You want to hit the folder. This is gonna be the mayor. And Denzel is gonna and, be so annoyed with him. And the girl. Yeah. Detective Frazier. Nice to meet you. Miss White may be able to assist her. She has a certain amount of influence in these matters. Reasons which I can't share with you. What are you trying to say, sir? And what the mayor means is that there are matters at stake here that are a little bit above your pay grade. No offense. No offense taken. Yeah. Why don't you just tell the mayor to raise my pay grade to the popular level? That would have happened a long time ago if you'd been a little bit more diplomatic. Oh, shoot. And certainly discuss it. There's also the matter of $140,000 that seems to have walked away from the magic of check cashing bust. Well, I had nothing to do with that. Ooh. Is this the president of Albania? Speaking. This time next week, I'll be sucking down pina coladas in a hot tub with skulls named Amber and Tiffany. More like taking a shower with two guys named Jamal and Jesus, if you know what I mean. You really want to piss me off? You're getting me what I asked you for, or you'll sit by and you'll watch me do just what I said I would do. You know, it's not like the city of New York has 747s waiting around for days like today. Then you might as well send a hearse. Please. You get me what I want. I won't kill anyone. <sighs> Here's the thing, I don't think he wants to kill anybody. The bank robber. No. He was nice it's to the kid. Obviously not what it's about. I know, but 
Will he is the question. Because they could have killed everyone already. Yeah. And they still could use them. It's like they wouldn't know. You know, the police right. wouldn't know if they'd done that. So, Mr. Dermagian. 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 Is that Albanian? Just, was that the loudmouth guy? Digging the hole? I don't think so. Didn't he drag him out and throw him into a... The place? It wasn't him? Did you know they were robbing the bank? I don't know they were robbing the bank. Is that why you held the door open for Did they take money? Did you see them take money? I was in a bank and I was locked up for who knows how long. I saw you see me. You saw me see you. You saw me gag when you came in. I promise you, Scott is my witness. Working on it as hard as I can. Why should I give you any more time? You give me more time. You get what you want. You don't give me the time. You don't get what you want. I got a question for you. You get it right, I'll give you more time. You know what happens if you don't. <laughs> Which way's more? All the trains that pass through Grand Central Station, but the trees cut down to print all U.S. currency in circulation. It's a trick question. U.S. money isn't printed on paper at all. It's cut. No trees were cut down. Are you sure? One hundred percent. What do we want to Google to confirm? Yeah. I got it. Wait a second. Wait. A second. Call you back. <laughs> Tell them they both weigh the same. They both weigh nothing. Tell them they both weigh the same. Do it now. Well. They both weigh the same. This time, send sandwiches. Grand Central Station is the post office. Post office. Right. Right. Guys talking about, hey, 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 right. hey, hey. Just get the sandwiches. It's obvious that they got it right. Well, that's a good looking hole. So how are you doing? I'm doing okay. I'm doing all right. All right, listen, I gotta go. All right. I just need you to look me in the eye and make me believe that you understand everything we talked about. I understand. Okay. <gasps> Twister. She's in Twister. No. Yes. No. What? No. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Let's not get into any names. What matters is what I can offer you. What's that? Well, if I can be assured that certain interests are protected, I might be able to help you get what you came for. What is it you were hoping to get out of all this? Rich, of course. Of course. You may have bitten off more than you can chew. You work for the bank. No. You're not a cop. That's right. Come on in. She's not scared? Here's what I'm thinking. If you give up now, I can ensure that you'll serve the minimum four years at the most. It's not good enough. Well, I wasn't finished. You'll have two million dollars. How? Put it someplace safe, and it'll be waiting for you when you get out. Oh, thanks. Oh. Why don't you talk to me about these interests? I'm afraid I can't. I can't. Let me tell you a story. Ooh. Come on. Arthur Case. During World War II, there was an American working for a bank in Switzerland. He used his position with the Nazis to enrich himself. Then he used his blood money to start a bank. Does this sound like it might be the man you work for? Or am I just whistling Dixie out of my head? I believe we understand each other. What is it you want? Two minutes. Safety deposit box room. Looking for this? This could be very embarrassing to your employer. Now, if the day ever comes where I have to stand before a judge and account for what I did here, you and your boss will do whatever it takes to help me. You get out of here with that envelope, and we'll pay you a lot of money. You're not going to tell me how you're planning to get out of here, are you? I'm going to walk right out the front door. I think they do walk out with all the hostages. Well, since he hadn't killed anyone, it wasn't too late to surrender and get off of the lighter sentence. And that was basically it. <laughs> well, I don't ordinarily get offended if somebody treats me like an idiot, but you are pushing it. Talk to me. Off the record? Everything about you is off the record. Just tell me. <laughs> well, I gave him an incentive. Did he go for it? No, but I'd say he's considering it. You talk like him, so think like him. What do you think? He's gonna do. Well, he's not gonna kill anyone. How do you know? Because he's not a murderer. How do you know? You never know what a person will do until you push him into a corner. You got a card in case I need to call you? Please don't take this personally, but uh, no, I don't think you can afford me. Don't take this personally, Miss White. Kiss my black ass, okay? <laughs> I don't like how she's condescending to him. Yeah. Eight and three quarters. Eight and three quarters. Eight. <laughs> you scared of that? Nope. Oh, okay. I'm from Brooklyn. You're from Brooklyn, huh? So the guys that had the guns, you remember them saying anything? Yeah. What they say? They asked me about my game. But it, was he the one in charge? Uh huh. He was kind of tall. He had a mask. Right. You think you can recognize him in any of these pictures? Take a look. Pictures have to be all. Did they take them with a like the flash wand? <laughs> Attempted robbery, liquor store. Well, this was a real step up for a small timer like you, huh? You want some gum? No. I didn't do it, all right. But I made a few mistakes when I was a kid. I was out with some friends and they held up a liquor store. What was I supposed to do? What about these two? I ring a bell. Hmm. No, nothing. The guy on the left? I don't know. They all look the I same know. now. Or was that the guy that he was talking to? Hey, just out of curiosity, do yeah. you know anything about diamonds? Oh, uh, a bit. If you'd like, I could give you my nephew's number. Okay. You'll get a very good deal. See, there's just you and one other woman that fit the physical description of the female suspect. What's that? That's your height. Your age and your uh, your cup size. I violated section 34 double D. 
That's what you're telling me? How dumb do these morons have to be to think they're going to get a plane? I don't just mean him. Any hostage taker. I don't think he has any plan to do the plane. Yeah. It's just a distraction. This whole time, we're trying to stall him, right? Wrong. They're the ones that stall him. Think about it. The bullshit questions the albanian thing he wants to give us more time i don't think he's in a rush why what am i find out because they're digging a tunnel out of there shoot he said he's gonna walk out the front door though That's right it's true yeah your plane is ready but i'm gonna need something from you first i'm gonna need to come in there make sure the hostages are okay you'll see them when they get on the bus i just need to make sure you're not leaving any bodies behind meet me at the front door That's what that guy was talking about. He said, "You, I saw you see me, remember? With a mask on? Gagged or something. When he comes in. Oh my, what is he playing at? Gum? Excuse me? Would you like some gum? Is that right? He asked that one guy if he wanted gum. Maybe. But they're not hiding anything. He's literally letting people. Yeah. Let me take the kid. No. Anymore? There are some who misbehaved. <laughs> gonna get you all out of here. Tour is over. We didn't see all of them misbehave, though. No. You don't want a plane. You never did. Whoever heard of bank robbers escaping on a plane? You saw a Dog Day Afternoon. That was the movie I watched. Movie? Really? Yeah. The easy way we walk out the front door together, all the hard boys cut the power, hit you with the tear gas, and come in strong through the glass. And you know they like to do it tonight. You got night vision. You got gas masks. Maybe. If it ends that way, whatever happens, you don't get to be the hero. Try harder. Ooh. He... He Did has read, read the book. The book. <laughs> what? I'm gonna walk out of that door when I'm good and ready. Can I get you to do that today? Maybe. I don't think so. Any other proposal? Do not say proposals. My girlfriend, she wants a proposal from me. Too broke. Maybe I should rob a bank. You love each other? Yeah. Yeah, we do. The money shouldn't really matter. Thank you, bank robber. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bank robber. Why don't we go across the street to the Kalani Rose, huh? Yeah, my treat. detective, but uh, I'm trying to stay away from bars. Well, if you change your mind, there's still a standing offer, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Just cross the fucking line. That was gutsy. Yeah. Got him right where I want him, right behind me with my pants around my ankles, but it's a start. You got the drop on you. How long? What if he saw your face? Two. What if I didn't have my gun? What happened? I gave him every excuse to blow my brains out. He doesn't bite. He ain't the type. Put him in a corner. Let's just step back and think about this for a second. That was the reception. Excuse me? The camera on the truck. Give me a close-up on the second floor window. Uh-oh. What the f are you doing? Your fault. I told you to get the buses. I didn't kill anybody. I got 50 more people in here. I'll give you two of the longest days of your life. Now tell me what it is you really want, and I'll get it for you. No bullshit. No bullshit. You're too damn smart to be a cop. Now get the f out of here. Do it. You got nothing to lose. I damn sure ain't got nothing to lose. So shoot me. Tell him to send someone sane over here. Okay. So he won't shoot him. Do you think they really killed someone? I don't think they did. I but don't think so either. I don't know how they would have faked it either. I know. Like a mannequin or something? But it looked so real. I yeah. saw the hands moving. Yeah. <sighs> I get a call at 3.15 and that's what? A dead hostage? Right, right, right. But I can end this. It isn't. Call. Darius is calling the shots on this. That's it. This is the only way in, and we gotta make it up the stairs blind. They have the advantage of cover, they can pick us off like sitting ducks. We still can't tell the homies from the good guys until they shoot uh -huh. at us. This is just a, a this is just a pretend scenario, right? I'm hoping. Let's not forget the possibility of hostages being killed. Yeah, and the other guy got taken away because one was killed, and now... If we can get two or three upstairs and take them out. Kill them. But you can't really be quick to trigger if all the hostages are right. the same. Gun, gun, gun! You think they're just gonna walk out? No, no, this has to be a fake scenario. They're not gonna do this. Yeah, that, that, that... Anybody in the painter suit could be a part. We should dress our guys up like a bunch of painters. And we should use rubber bullets, put their lights out. Rubber bullets it is, baby. 
they're going to dump this whole mess in your lap, you know. Hmm. I'm making first grade. Fuck does that Detective mean? first grade Keith Ray. Yeah. Thank the mayor and our mystery guest for that. You cut a deal with those guys? Never make first grade. Work too hard to let that happen. Everybody's getting theirs, I'm going to get mine. Now, what do you say we just get these people safely out of the bank? I'll try and watch what I say in the future. You never know who's listening. Light bulb? <sighs> Light bulb. You don't Hey, Bob, this. Do they know their whole plan? Mm -hmm. Darius, don't make a move. What? Do not make a move. Tell them that you're bugged. They heard everything we said in the MCC. What? Stand down. They put a transmitter in it. They bugged us. Tell them faster. I'm going in. No! Everybody good? Yeah. Everybody up the fucking stairs! No! Why would Darius go in anyways? He, they know, know their exact plan. You are gonna run out with them? Oh, the bus. The cops did that? I don't think so. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! They're all gonna walk out the front door. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh, they're using the rubber bullets, right? Cease fire! Cease! Oh, gosh! Oh, even if those are rubber bullets, that is traumatizing yeah. for those people. Can you imagine the news of that? Oh. Is that one of them? I think so. Is that one of them? <gasps> no. Holy. We're all gonna be out now. Sometimes in these movies, I accidentally cheer for the bank robbers because I love a well-executed plan <laughs> so much. <laughs> well, it's because it's like, when you're watching like Oceans, they don't feel like the bad guys yeah. here, right? You're like, right. oh yeah, you should totally rob the casinos. <laughs> Amen to that. So, to be clear, the thing with Case, during like the Holocaust, he looks like he was Jewish. He had the Star of David in his office yeah. and stuff, but he was profiting from the Nazis, I think. Uh, you don't want to check the garbage bags? But I'm pretty sure we're the only ones moving around down here. They forgot to rob the joint. You didn't find anybody. We're still looking, but there are no bad guys, no tunnels, no damage. There's nothing missing. What do you got? I'm gonna rob this one. Toy guns. Cap, come to the ladies' room. What? Check it out. You can stop looking for that body. We got something else in the storage room. The hole? Yeah, in the hole, right? Yeah. Gary, move. Phones? Where's the men's room? <gasps> that really sucks for the actual yeah. hostages. Yeah. You would feel so um, defiled, I yeah. guess. I don't know. Like, <sighs> and they don't know what the real robbers look like either. So no. Like... Person one. Oh, this is worst case scenario. Yeah. Like, I just get him on the bus. Get him on the bus. That would be terrifying too. It's like, what if they could pin it on you? Yeah, they I know. Everything else out so well. We photograph everybody that came out of the bank. We sit them down. We question them. We show them the photos. Can't point to anybody that's guilty of anything. It's like the thing never happened. What about the clothes? What if they made everyone pick up their clothes? I'm telling you, they thought of everything, almost. But this, we haven't found a 357 or the perp that was holding it. If you did, there'd be no prints on it anyway. Bury it. Bury it? Captain, this thing stinks to high hell. I mean, somebody did something. You said it yourself. You got no robbery. It's Nobody's breathing down my neck to come up with answers. You... I'm not going to breathe down yours. Bury it. Okay. You're, letting, you're just going to let them walk away? Oh, here's something. Well, they didn't steal anything except that they thing. They found that missing Madrugada money. You want to know where it was? In my bank account. No. And no. I don't want to know. Do we think it's the Mr. Case making it go away? That I don't know. Safety deposit box number 392, according to these records, it doesn't exist. Didn't Coughlin say we should move on? Let's go. You talk to Mr. Case? Mm -hmm. Weren't you told to bury this? I got a job to do this way. Let me tell you how this no, works. Let me you? tell you how this works. Press here to record, and you press here to play. There's also the matter of the $140,000 walked away from Petrogada. Check the cash and bust. In exchange for what? I mean, what, you want me to do something unethical? I mean, no disrespect to the both. I don't need you to be in my corner, Mr. Mayor. Innocent or guilty, you're still going down. James Bond crap. Mm -hmm. Your career is over. You get it on Amazon. Who's case hiding? You know, there's a famous saying by the Baron de Rothschild. When there's blood on the streets, buy property. I think Mr. Case really took that sentiment to heart. But he is no different than half the Fortune 500. Let it go, detective. 
You can't. Mm -mm. But I need to know how they got out of there. What do you mean? How the robbers, like, they went out with the hostages. But we didn't see any of them in the... It were, or yeah, the we guy. Did. We didn't see the guy. Well, they didn't show all the faces. Arthur, good morning. Ah, have a seat. He kind of has the voice of Morgan Freeman. I keep hearing, like, the Batman narration kind of thing. But I just fast-tracked his career a little, and he's under control. I hope so. Tell me about the envelope. The gang leader is going to hang on to it as an insurance policy to keep you from seeking revenge. Clearly, he has a very low opinion of you. What might that be? You got rich doing business with the Nazis during the Holocaust. Yes, I was young and ambitious. I sold my soul, and I've been trying to buy it back ever since. You and this mystery man, you have an understanding? I think so. If Sunday he comes back to blackmail you, you'll pay him, and you'll get it back. He didn't go through all that just to stick your envelope under his mattress. They left money untouched, Arthur. So? They don't want money. The bank says that there was nothing missing, so there had to have been something in that box that was worth more to him than your envelope. It was bags. Mm, diamonds. And then there's the ring. It belonged to the wife of a Parisian banker. When the war came along, the ring and everything else they owned was confiscated and they were shipped off to concentration camps. We were friends. I could have helped them. But the Nazis paid too well. Ken, I trust that you will keep what you learn confidential. Yes, Arthur. Well, I'd love to tell you what a monster you are, but uh, I have to help Bin Laden's nephew buy a co-op on Park Avenue. If that were true, you wouldn't tell me. We're listing you as a reference. He makes friends. Everywhere she goes, it's one way to do it. My name is Dalton Russell. <gasps> Pay strict attention to what I say. This is the video from the beginning. The where could most readily be described as a prison cell. Recently, I planned and set in motion events to execute the perfect bank robbery. As for the why, it's exceedingly simple. Are they drywalling? Because I can, which leaves us only with the how. And therein, as the bard would tell, lies the rub. They built a wall behind a wall. They're still in there. Please, detective, be waiting outside for him to walk. He's gonna smell like shit. What do you expect after a week? Why do you think I rolled down the window? <gasps> the rabbi? The girl? Yeah, we did see them get questioned, right? Yeah. Oh, I did not think the girl was the same. That her face was different. How does he get from there up the top? They cut Fraser and his partner walking to the bank. <laughs> He's been in there for a week, they said. Yeah, but wouldn't that girl notice that he shouldn't be down there? Sorry, excuse me. The voice! You talk to him! Just like he planned. Oh my gosh. So the rabbi was pretending to be a hostage, but he was in on it? I think so. Where is it? I left it in there, trust me. I left it in good hands. I did it for the money. But it's not worth much if you can't face yourself in the mere respect is the ultimate currency. He left it for the detective, and the detective will outcase. But inevitably, the further you run from your sins, the more exhausted you are when they catch up to you. Gum? You want some gum? It will not fail. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, my girlfriend ain't here. Follow the ring. Oh, Detective Frazier. Whenever I hear the term New York's finest, you're who I think of. But I'm very confused. You see, I got a case where armed robbers laid siege to your bank. The robbers disappear, poof. And they don't take a nickel, right? No robbers, no real victims, no loot missing. So you gotta ask yourself, what the f*** happened? Don't you miss the case? I have no idea. Oh, come on now. Are you implying that I had anything to do with it? 392. I have no idea what you're don't talking about. Don't lie to me, Mr. Case. There was one safe deposit box that had no records. I mean, going all the way back to 1948. It's something really bad, isn't it? I have spent my whole life serving humanity. You think they'll vouch for you after I find out the truth about this ring? Oh, by the way, that thing you said about us being New York's finest, I want you to know we really appreciate that. How gracious. Let's go. I'm gonna follow that ring. The case is gonna have them killed? <laughs> you could. May I have your hat, please? No, you cannot. Get your own. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, Mrs. White, the mayor. And there's blood on the streets. Somebody's got to go to jail. I believe Detective Frazier is looking for some closure. That's a good word. This is the number of the war crimes issues office in Washington, D.C. You can keep the pen. You've made copies. <laughs> Please. We got to keep the real criminals off the streets, Your Honor. Thanks for lunch. 
What have you got me into this time? This is the brother. I think it's so, um, yeah. She's been waiting there this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a lot of days, right? <laughs> Detective first grade. I think bad's not about to happen, right? Better not. What he bumped into in the bank, he slipped a jewel in his pocket. Right, me. I will. Cause he knew he wanted to get engaged to his girlfriend. Yeah. When I'm good and ready. <gasps> oh. Wow. I liked it. Me too. It was good. I really liked it. And it was funny because, like, in his little speech at the end, the bank robber guy, mm -hmm. and he was like, the alt or whatever, like, won his respect. Right. And then I feel like the detective was like, dude, I respect him. You yeah, know? I feel like they respected each yes. other. Yes. He's uh -huh. like, all right, this cop, he said, he, yeah. you're too smart to be a cop. Mm -hmm. And, oh. dang. And it's like you said, the bad guys weren't, I mean, they, yes, they stole diamonds, they probably traumatized a lot of hostages. Mm -hmm. but they didn't really steal any money, they just stole it from the bad guy yeah yeah and their plan was so good you kind of can't so root not good. root for them i know it is tricky it's so conflicted because there's a part of me i'm like well denzel do you go and catch him i don't I know like, i don't know if you do because i he, don't think he does he told me he was leading him to a bigger case to investigate of the ring yeah arthur anthony arthur case which one is arthur it? yeah that was good and I, they had us guessing the entire time. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know who to root for. I, I know. know how they did it. Yeah. Who was in on it? And Denzel. Denzel. He just, like, I think I said it in the intro, he elevates everything he's in. He can do no wrong. I know. It's so good. Has he ever made a bad movie? Maybe he made a movie that wasn't, like, maybe he was in a cute. movie that wasn't great, but he made it better, I'm yes. sure. Yes, I believe it. Denzel, we're fine. <laughs> He was so good in that. He was so him was, too. Like, I know. I know. Yes. Okay, I don't think I've actually seen him in that many things. But like, I feel like he always does play like a kind confident. of similar role. And I'm like, yeah, you, which is probably just like him. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, great. I'll keep watching it. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Jodie Foster played that like rich, powerful, condescending yes. lady so well. Uh huh. Yeah. It was very satisfying, it actually. Was. Yeah. And there's a part of me that's like, should I be satisfied with that? With that? But I'm like, no, I think I am. I know. Because you do kind of cheer for the robbers. Yeah. <laughs> gosh, put that in ethics class. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I know. How many people are like, I could rob a bank after this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching along with me. Let me know if you think we should watch the two runners up from the heist pool, Fish Called Wanda and Sneakers. Okay. Have Good a wonderful, have a wonderful night, and we'll see you again soon.